It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, WCCSradio.com. Good morning, ICTC students with us this morning, along with Mrs. Kelly Fox, bringing them in to visit today, and all from the single same department, huh, Kelly? We said it's not by design, but no. they all are graphics and electronic media students. They were selected this morning because they all also mm-hmm. are National Technical Honor Society students. So these are our oh. cream of the crop students academically and have done very well both at their sending school as well as ICTC. So they represent us well this morning. Congratulations to them. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mac, voted best personal injury law firm in the best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mac, a law firm representing injured people. So that's quite the accomplishment for these students. It is, yes. They've uh, maintained a 93.5% or above Mm -hmm. uh, overall grade point average and uh, now in the NTHS at ICTC which is like the NHS at our sending schools, but it yeah. has that T in there for technical. Yeah, so, nice. Makes, Let's meet them. Yes, yes. So yeah. we have uh, Audrey Farmery, our, and, and ironically, uh, these two are Marion Center, and then we have a Homer Center representative here this mm-hmm. morning as well. But Audrey and Alexis are both Marion Center. So Audrey Farmery, graphics and electronic media, grade 12 graphics. And then we have Alexis Bias, grade 12 graphics. And then we have Denver Matches, and he is Homer Center. Nice, nice. Well, let's meet him. Denver, let's start with you. Yeah. Um, and, and talk about your ICTC career. Uh, you're a senior? No, I'm a junior. You're a junior. Yeah. You're a junior. Uh, well, tell me about the program itself and, and what attracted you to it. Well, you know, I've always kind of been interested in, you know, doing something with computers, and I went into the program area for shadowing. I saw all the cool things that the students have made, and I realized, you know, that's just something I want to do. I realize, you know, how mm-hmm. in demand that job is right now. And I just figured, you know, it's something that piqued my interest. And so I just kind of went with that. Has the program been everything that you thought it would be? Yeah, absolutely has. Yeah. And you're enjoying yourself in it. Yeah. Yeah. So what are the things that you like to do most? Like in ICTC or in general? In, in well, at ICTC. Okay. With, with well, the program. You know, I just, I like to do the extra stuff that gets assigned to us you know mm-hmm. i i made a pin a couple weeks ago to submit to skills usa and right now we're making a but like a sign for electrical and you know i just like to do those little extra stuff you know mm-hmm. i feel like it gets you more mm-hmm. experience and more ready for you know whenever i leave ictc is the actual making of whatever it is that you're working on or the conception the design uh, what what really appeals to you about either of those? Well, you know, I really like both of those. Um, mm-hmm. I do have to say I find the making part a little more fun, but, you know, it's also fun to, you know, kind of experiment and do what you feel works best. Yeah, yeah. Well, terrific. Where do you think it's going to lead you? You know, I kind of, I don't know where it's going to lead me. I just, you know, I'm trying to take it one step at a time, and I but I hope that whenever I leave here I can get a job. I really want to go to a four-year college, but... Maybe, like, I really would like to go to IEP, but, mm-hmm. you know, that's about all I've kind of planned so far. Yeah, well, you've got time. You're a junior. <laughs> yeah. You're a junior. Not like the pressure on these <laughs> ladies that are with you here today. Let's meet them as well. Um, and I think we've met you both before, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Yes, we have. All right. So uh, for our Facebook viewers and our listeners, uh, you can reintroduce yourselves. Um, I'm Alexis Fias. I go to Marion Center. Mm-hmm. Um, I go to ICTC for graphics and electronic media, mm-hmm. and I'm a third year there and a senior at my home school. All right. So you're a senior, so uh, you're you're making plans, right? Mm-hmm. right? So what are they? I'm going to go to a four-year college for finance. Um, I think I'm going to go to Slippery Rock. Mm-hmm. I haven't like fully committed yet, but... That's where I think I'm going to go. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to use graphic design as like a freelance, uh, like a side job sure. during so I'm able to make money and still use like the skills I've learned at ICTC. Mm-hmm. When you got into the program, uh, you're a third year student at ICTC. Yes. So you've been in this program for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, tell me about the skills that you brought to it and the skills that you have now. I bet you they're a whole lot better now. Yes. So uh, whenever I first came into ICTC, I did not know anything about design or like color theory, anything like that. Um, I now know how to work Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, stuff like that. I am able to understand the process of like brainstorming, design, all that, like all the mm-hmm. key things it takes. Um, 
I feel like my communication has also gotten a lot better since then because I've had to speak to a lot of different students and other instructors that I did not know before, especially whenever we're doing yearbook and stuff and we have to get all the pictures we need. Yeah, yeah. And, and people might not understand that when we talk about graphics and design, that's a big part of it, isn't it? Layout yes. and, and putting together publications. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it, it sounds like it's something that you really have a good time with. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot of fun, and I'm very glad I joined it. Yeah, let's Let's find and while Audrey's here. moving in, I just want to also note that both Alexis and Denver, even though they didn't mention it, are building their leadership skills because they both serve as officers in our NTHS. And so Alexis does serve as the vice president for the morning NTHS, mm-hmm. and Denver is the secretary. So oh. along with all the graphic skills that you're pointing out, there's also those soft skills that are so important. Yeah. And they're definitely, I'm glad she said that she's a lot more outgoing now because she definitely is it's nice to see these students blossom as they do their projects leadership skills yeah audrey tell me about your experience with the graphics um i'm audrey former i'm a senior at ictc in the graphics electronic media program and a senior at marion center um i'm also a third year i've been in since our 10th grade year Mm -hmm. and to watch like when you said our skills from the beginning to now. Yeah. If we go back and look at like the projects that we did on our first year to the projects that we're doing now, you completely them, different you? world. <laughs> it makes me feel so bad for my little 10th grade self <laughs> like, at what I used to do versus what I do now. I'm like, wow, I thought I was good then. Yeah. Not so much anymore. <laughs> did you bring a background into, into the program when you, um, when you started? Not really. I know like some of my family, um, my uncle went to art school with Mr. Kogoda, so mm-hmm. there's a little bit there, but not like designing or anything, because I was never an artist. I hate uh-huh. drawing. It makes me so angry because I can't get it perfect, but I like to see like the brainstorming, like where I can take it from my head and make it something that's real and like someone else can see my thoughts and understand where I'm going with it, mm-hmm. rather than just hear me explain it and be like, oh, I don't understand. Be like, oh. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a lot like you. But I I have a folder, in fact, back at my desk of uh, some artwork that I did that I had to bring in for some reason for somebody to see, and I, I can't remember what. But um, I used to be very, very good at it, but I hated doing it Yeah. because I couldn't be absolutely perfect at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and you, uh, overcoming those things about yourself uh, and seeing what's acceptable as opposed to what's absolutely perfection, uh, you know, Placing the value upon them is a pretty important thing. Mm. Sounds like you took uh, took it to heart, though, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and and it's it's worked out very nicely for you. So where does it lead you? Um, I'm hoping to do. I don't plan on going to college right after high school. If I end up going, it'll probably be a year or two before mm-hmm. I decide. But I'm hoping just to go straight into the workforce and either do something with um, young children or graphic design, which is completely different yeah. areas, but. They're both things that I enjoy, and I'm hoping to decide either one or the other or do both. Well, you know what? You're going to probably be surprised how one translates into the other. Yeah. And, and that's, a, that's a big part of the experience, too, isn't it? Absolutely. Experience. All of the skills that our students learn, no matter what program they're enrolled in at ICTC, can be life skills as well as occupational skills. Mm-hmm. So definitely part of that. You betcha. Yeah. yeah. And we also brought a little couple little gifts for you. I mean, I know you're oh. used to some things from culinary every mm-hmm. month for you mm-hmm. and your radio friends Hold that here. Up so folks can see yeah, it. so Audrey's going to display the nice yeah. wouldn't be Christmas without some Christmas cookies, nice. right? So Thank Culinary Arts says Merry Christmas to you and everyone here at Renda. Mm-hmm. And then uh, because we do like to focus on community service through our National Technical Honor Society, uh, we were able to bring a donation today for the Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Wow. And so Alexis has that That's for unexpected. You. Yes. Alexis, what do you have there? there Go ahead and open it up and tell me tell me what the amount is. Um, okay. This is you want to open that? I'm not good at opening envelopes. <laughs> not that not that I'm all money hungry. Drum, drum roll, please. <laughs> Boy, that was one of the lamest drum rolls I've ever heard. Should we do it again? No, no but there we were we able go. to get our funds from the food court to be able to send over. Oh that they these came from the food court. The food uh, food cart that goes around ICTC oh, from culinary. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And the amount is? The amount is $100. Ah, beautiful. For the Teddy Bear Fun Drive. 
How beautiful is that? That's so nice of, of everybody at ICTC for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so our students enjoy pizza and chicken nuggets and a variety of desserts and other food items throughout the week. And if their instructors allow, as the food cart comes through the school, they're able to purchase those items right from the food cart. So nice. uh, Culinary was able to say, you know, that a week's worth of their food cart could come to uh, the radio. Well, thank you, ICTC. That's oh, very, very to, nice. To the Teddy Bear Fun Drive, sponsored yeah. by Renda, correct? Yeah, beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Hey, thanks all for coming in. This has been fun. Yes, thanks for Cook, having us. Cookies look great. Don't cover them over. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Fox, and I'm just going to do a quick shout out because Denver mentioned it coming up next in our next conversation. Todd probably will be talking about all the new students coming to ICTC because we're starting to host our ninth grade students next month already. Wow. So School year goes fast. Looking forward to it. Hey, best of holidays to all of you. Happy, happy holidays to you. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. And uh, the kids from Horace Mann Elementary School going to visit with us in our next half hour here on Indiana in the Morning.